In the previous videos, we loop through files and folders. This time, we are going to loop through files and folders recursively. So if we find any subfolder, we are going to go inside. And if we find another subfolder, we are going to go inside. In our case, it is going to be weekly reports folder. In this folder, we've got three folders, November, October and September. In each folder, we've got some files and we've got total folder as well. Inside total, we've got another file. So let's go to Visual Basic Editor and let's create new subroutine. Right click Sheet 1 and select View Code. And let's call it Get Files. Let's create another subroutine. Some sub and from this subroutine we are going to call this get files subroutine be below. We are going to pass path and our path it is gonna be C weekly reports folder To access files, we need to use file system object. So let's declare first variable FSO and FSO will equal create object. The next variable, let's declare folder. And folder will equal we are going to get folder And we are going pass path, which is gonna be this path. So let's look through subfolders in here. All we need to do is we need to type for each subfolder in folder dot subfolders next subfolder can declare subfolder in here as well and in here we are going to call get files to check subfolders in this current subfolder. So it is gonna be subfolder dot path. And another loop for each file in 
all the files. Next file. Let's declare file as well. So for each file, we're going to save this file in a column. So let's type file in here. And to find first non-empty cell in column A, we need to type range column A. And to write new value, we need to go down one row down and column stays the same. So this is gonna equal file dot So in here, just set folder subfolder and file to nothing. And another one set all equals nothing. That should be it. Let's save it and let's try it. Developer macros one. 